This budget rewards work. Britain is going to earn its way in the world. There is no other road to recovery. This budget supports working families and helps those looking for work. It unashamedly backs business. And it, it had been billed as a Robin Hood budget, but in the end it was Chancellor George Osborne's favourable treatment of British business that made headlines. A cut in taxes and a channelling of resources to those sectors where the Chancellor was confident of the UK's competitive advantages. So what did the editors at the Financial Times have to say about it? The yeah, Financial Times thinks this is a broadly positive budget. It's good for business, sets a good political direction in terms of tax cuts, uh, corporation tax, and at the top rate, Plan A remains intact. And we have always supported the deficit reduction package. It is going down, but the extra margin of manoeuvre that Mr Osborne spotted today has been used for some quite artful uh, proposals on taxation. And it was Mr Osborne's brushstrokes with corporation tax that attracted most appreciation. This April we'll see it drop from 26 to 24 per cent and then to 22 per cent in 2014. That's good news for British business. We already on an overall basis of the total tax burden have a very low tax burden for a, for a developed economy and this will make the UK more competitive as a place for businesses to be based. And there's also quite a lot for the oil industry to go at in terms of the breaks that they've given on opening up new fields um, in the North Sea, which seems to me to be a bit of a conscience payment for a raid on North Sea oil producers last year. So good for business, but what about the economy? As expected, this was a fiscally neutral budget. This budget itself does almost nothing to the economy. When George Osborne said this showed the country is going to earn its way out of its problems, well, this budget itself, the OBR has said, has done nothing to help it do that. Some of the big winners, obviously the very rich who have their income tax rate cut as long as they don't own or want to own a £2 million plus property or certainly not have it in a held in a foreign company. Some of the losers, interestingly, pensioners who are being hit very hard by a freezing of the pensioners' allowance. Besides the figures, this was a budget steeped in politics, a story that involves George Osborne's ambitions for succeeding David Cameron as party leader, as well as, of course, the dynamics between the Conservatives and Liberal Democrats. The political dynamics in the coalition was that George Osborne was determined to make a move on the top rate, Clegg in the end thought it was worthwhile doing in return for the big increase in the tax allowances at the bottom. I think overall this was quite dangerous for politically for the government as a whole. Could turn out to be disastrous for the Liberal Democrats if they are seen as, if you like, taking the Tories side. So a politically charged budget with high ambitions for British industry. No doubt Chancellor George Osborne will be hoping that his own hard work won't go unrewarded. Seb Morton-Clark, Financial Times, London.